We got incoming, northbound. Cell phone spilling might be able to get some information. Uh, Went off the Balkan. Uh, if he was here, he's long gone now. Hey, why, why did you shoot before I say it was okay? The whole thing was going south. I had to shoot the guy, otherwise he, he was going to take off with Brenda. You weren't supposed to move forward. No, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how you do things here in the states, but where I come from. This many bodies with this many bullet holes. The local police tend to ask questions. Well, Dante and I are the local police, but point taken. Jason, we're gonna have to call this in, so decide what you want to do. Well, Brenda can't be tied to another shooting. Well, I'd like Siobhan to be in the clear as well. It's like you read my mind. All right, why don't you take Brenda and Siobhan back to your place? You guys were never here. Doesn't add up. What do you mean? It's just why did Brenda go toward the people who were trying to hurt her? Adrenaline mixed with fear. I mean, plus Brenda's not the most rational person. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, but the, the way the leader was talking to her, the way she attacked him, I don't know. There's more going on than Brenda's saying. I got four dead guys, and so far, no explanation. Well, if Dante hadn't uh, shown up when I called, he'd only have one body, and it'd be mine. These guys all work for the Balkan. Lucky, you went undercover to expose this Balkan for Interpol. When I granted your leave of absence, I thought the idea was for you to go to Europe. Instead, I got four dead guys here in Port Charles. I'm sorry, they, they followed me home. How does Brenda Baird fit into this? Dante, you were assigned to protect her. And all of a sudden, I got, some guys end up dead. I mean, what's going on? Great, all right. Well, this is how it's gonna go down. I want this Balkan presence handled and out of my city. Get it done, and maybe we can avoid an international incident. The it's always to be out of that hotel room. <laughs> do, we, do we have a destination, or are we just wandering around like a couple of old folks in the neighborhood or something? Oh, let's do that. Let's wander around yeah. like a couple of old okay. folks. East Coast. Hello, Brenda. Alexander, I told you I don't want to see you anymore. I'm sorry, sir. You need to, need to move along. Until I see your nonsense. Oh my god. This isn't happening. Wait, wait, wait. 
This isn't happening. Look at me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'll make this okay. Okay, I promise. Everything's gonna be okay. fine, but we got four dead guys with European passports, and we're no closer to knowing where the boss is. What went wrong? Or do you not want to talk about it? No, uh... It was Brenda. She, uh... It wasn't her fault. We put her in a crazy situation. She was bound to, to freak out. Hey, what the, how was your day? Finale showed me something interesting. Yeah. It's a picture of you with Brenda. You were in a police officer's uniform in New York a few years back. It was uh, three. It was uh, three years ago. Why didn't you tell me? I should have mentioned something about her when she got to Port Charles, but she didn't even remember who I was. How could she not remember you? You were her bodyguard. Well, she sees a bunch of guys in a uniform. She doesn't see the person underneath the uniform. Like, this is before I knew, I knew that I was Sonny's son, before I knew that, that, that Brenda was the love of Sonny's life. I, I, I let it slide, but I should have told you. you yes. No, you don't need to tell me about every single woman that you guarded. This one caught me by surprise. Look, look at me. There's nothing to hide between me and Brenda, okay? It's okay, it's fine. I get it. I, I love you. And only you. <laughs> 